gamers and welcome back to Newcraft, my first ever private SMP experience here on Minecraft 1.19. So, last episode, we ended in here in the moss room. My new moss farm that you can see is uh, busily crunching away here. And I have made a few little alterations since the end of last episode on this space. Uh, Partly here, you can see the collection system. I now put in a loop because if you run it for long enough, it's actually possible that uh, all of the shulker box loaders get completely filled. So I added a fifth one and added in this loop so it'll at least continue to circulate. And in between uh, the runs of the carts down there, more of the moss will get collected by more of the hoppers. And uh, it should actually do a better job of making sure that we don't lose any in the process. So I did that, and then I also, well I decorated the room, check it out. I, you know, raided my Dark Oak Log <laughs> uh, storage from the Dark Oak Log farm that we have, uh, because we've got so much of it and it's very easy to use it. And um, yeah, it's looking pretty snazzy. I put in this walkway across the top here, made it look really Pretty cool. And then uh, I also made a decision to add in a little bit of extra storage. So I changed some of the filters here. I got one for azalea, one for flowering of azalea, and then one next to that, which I can't reach, for moss carpet. So what we should see is a little bit of those material types accumulating here that we're going to be taking out. So we're actually reducing the amount of moss that we're making in exchange for getting a couple of other material types, which is cool because um, I don't have another way of getting those either, and I do use a fair bit of moss carpet, and you know, azaleas are always handy to have as well, so why not collect a little bit of all of those? It's just going to be siphoning off a tiny bit, because I don't need an enormous um, number of those, but um, yeah, that's how that's going to work. And I have been running this for a little while, I ran it for some time, a couple of hours maybe, and got myself a good number of shulkers of moss, more than enough to continue the mossification of the valley. So we'll run upstairs and show you what we got. This room is obviously connected next to the mud farm and uh, at the back of the trading hall which is back here. So it all connects up nicely. Oh, and the storage I actually need is through here. I put in these new elevators as well to get between these two floors because I didn't have that in place before. And haha! There we go. So what is that? 18, 19 shulkers of moss so far. Loving it. Last episode we also worked on the village. So we extended the village out, created one, two, three, four, five, six new buildings that we put out here. And of course we did Harlock's amazing Halloween maze, decorated our stand for Vinny here. Hey Vinny, I thought you disappeared for a minute. Mm. Yes, good to see you too. Happy Halloween. And, uh, yeah, had a fair old good time. So, there's a couple of things that I wanted to get done this episode. Definitely going to go back to our village. We need to go over there and I have some more plans to put in some more buildings, grow that thing a little bit further. But before we do that, there's something we've been meaning to do on this server for some time. And that is Game District. Yes, games! We haven't made too many of these. Harlock has taken the lead on uh, on the game thing by doing his maze over there. And he did some quests. He built a, a building over here to do some server quests, which were like a, a story, like a mystery you had to go and unfold. But um, we've been talking about a sort of mini game district. And having seen the Hermits on Hermitcraft very recently, been very much inspired by what we saw there. And so Harlock has been doing a bit of work to find us a place where we could build this minigame district. And uh, it's about a thousand blocks out here on the nether, so I'm going to head to some coordinates he gave me and see what I can find. So this must be the portal that Harlock uh, had made. The coordinates seem correct. Let's go check out what's on the other side. Ta-da! It's a mushroom island. Dude, where did you come from? Where did you come from? You shouldn't be able to come here. That was a bit odd. Was Oh, I bet he spawned on that single sand block down there. You see, the brilliance of a mushroom biome 
island is that uh, mobs don't spawn. <laughs> they uh, they shouldn't be spawning on this stuff on uh, the podzol, mycelium, whatever it's called. And this is just a little island. It's not a massive one. And oh look, there's going to be a lush cave underneath it as well if we wanted to go underground because this guy's here. Very interesting. But um. Yeah, this is an ideal place for us to build a gaming district because we should get no mobs. Just these little um, mushroom cow things. And there's plenty of room here for me to build what I want to do, as well as others do a few bits and pieces. Uh, there is another much larger mushroom island way much further out that way, but this is reasonably close. We'll fill this one up first, and if we need to, we can expand to the other. No problem. So. I'm going to clear a little bit of space. I'm definitely going to take out these sand blocks because we don't want those mobs spawning, do we? And um, from there, we can get on and build what it is I came here to build. Done, ladies and gents. Check this out. Let's have go into free cam, have a little fly around. As you'll see here, this is a race course. It is a parkour race course. Inspired by Exumavoid, he did a similar sort of thing on Hermitcraft for the charity livestream event. He had a parkour course that uh, required the use of powdered snow to get around. I thought that was a brilliant idea. Absolutely genius. So uh, I've taken some inspiration from that and done my very own version here. As you can see there are three lanes. Uh, we have the green, the birch and the mangrove ready to go and I'm going to demo this for you right now. So we've got a little rule book here at the front. Warm Toes Parkour. Two to three player game. First to the finish line wins. Take two buckets and the leather boots from the barrel. These here. No breaking blocks. You must only use the buckets to move powdered snow blocks. You must stay within your one block lane. Powdered snow can only be placed on logs. If you see a button, you may press it once. Please return empty buckets and boots to the starting barrels. Enjoy. Okay, so we're gonna give this a go now. We're gonna take our stuff. I'm going to leave a little place to put your personal belongings, but we should take off our armor and our wings specifically. Everything else, da -da 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 -da, nothing else on us, okay? Equip the boots, now we've got our buckets. Okay, so there's already a powdered snow block here. So I picked up the powdered snow from there, but I kind of need it uh, in place. Because I need to do this and this. Ooh, look at that. I've never used powdered snow before. Now I need to use the snow to get up here. Like this, then across here, like this, up here all the way over here and up. Okay, now gotta figure out where to go this way. Through here. Okay, I've got to put the snow here and here. Ooh. And then, okay, I'm allowed to push the button. 
which gives me another padded snow block. Now, I can come up here, like so. I've got to get over to there. So I can just reach, place a padded snow block there. You've got to be really careful with your crouching here. And I've got to make this jump. And I messed it up. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'm going to get my scaffolding and uh, find my way back up there quickly. Okay, so that probably wasn't the right way to do that. I maybe needed to go that and that. Hmm. Doesn't seem right, does it? So what I'm going to do instead is do this and this and this and this and this. Ah, there we go. We're across. Now I've got to get up like so. And now I've got to go up. I don't want to go down. I want to go up there, okay. So to get up there, I'm going to have to do this and this. Got it. Okay, so now I want to go through here, but I'm blocked. I can see there's something I need to do up there. Okay, that's great. So we'll do this. We've got to go up. Like so, and I've got to place a block there, which activates a piston, and, uh, ah, oh, blimey, what's a totem? I definitely need to put some scaffolding down here, don't I? This is going to be my uh, rescue to get people back on track, because you don't want to go back to the beginning. I think it's going to be good to have little uh, rescue points along the way here. Totem's definitely recommended. Um, no, I'm going to need to go higher than that. Okay, so that block has been moved up out of the way. Now I need to go through here. Okay, so get myself across here. Over to here. Up here. Okay, getting high now. Aha, uh -huh. I can axe. I need to get up there next, but I can't get there without getting that block back. Ah, oh no. Okay, I'm going to cheat. The point is, it doesn't matter, this isn't cheating, it's uh, slowing you down. That's the whole point, because you've got to be able to get around this. Ah, oh, <laughs> you've got to be able to get around this course quickly. And as you can see, I'm not doing that very well. It's my first time doing it properly, other than in my test world. So I do this, do this, jump over, grab that, grab this. And I want to go down there. I want to, how do I get in there? There we go, yes, it is possible. And then, oh, we've got to get all the way down there. So, um, let's do this. If you're feeling brave, you can sort of MLG bucket your way down. But, um, like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to take it slowly. <laughs> ah. Okay, 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 There's some more observers down here, so we've got to use these observers to do this, what has that done? Let's see if I pick this up, I can't get through, aha, there's a trick, so what I've got to do is actually crouch through that to get through it, and it closes behind me. Um, and then there's the last bit here. You can take it slowly or you can <laughs> you can try and bucket it like that. And 
across the lines and we're going to have fireworks in here and we're done. Woohoo! That is a pretty substantial obstacle course. You're definitely going to need some scaffolding now and again. What on earth happened there? Oh, it went out sideways. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a need for a way for people to need to be able to catch up. So I'm going to have scaffolding distribution centers down here. I'm going to say you can only go up with these and you cannot use them to advance in the course. Just get back to where you were. There are going to be some new rules. And um, yeah, then we've got to get some fellow new crafters on board to come and test this with us and have a game and see who can uh, get the best time, get the best scores. Finishing touches over here. We have some red and some yellow and some lime fireworks. Just need to evenly distribute those. And when you cross the finish line, Everyone's going to know about it. Woohoo! There you go. Color coded finishing touches. I love it. And that is Warm Toes Parkour. I cannot wait to get a couple of other new crafters over here and test this and have a proper little tournament to see who can get the best times, see who falls off the most, and uh, see who can make it to the finish line intact. It's going to be fun. I can't wait. So we've come back over here to the village because we want to do a little bit more to it. We've made some incredible progress last week and want to continue with the momentum. I think we can get this uh, moved on a little bit further, add a few more buildings in here and get it feeling just that tiny bit more populated. So I'm going to go get some more rockets because I just used my last one in my inventory and some materials. We're going to put a few more, a few more of these buildings into the village. Let's do it. We need another market stall attendant for. We'll, we'll sort that out in a minute, but let me give you a little tour of what else we've done here. So, we have this rather interesting looking build right here. Let's uh, go free cam and zoom around. So, yeah, this, this one I was going with a bit of terracotta, trying a little bit of a different color scheme, I'm trying to have it a bit more of an open framework kind of build. It's, um, Pretty simple on the inside, we've just got a sort of spiral staircase going up to this landing level. And from here, there's, there's a bed, just, it is a functional little house, but um, super simple. And then this guy over here, so this is an interesting one. Obviously more paths and bridges heading in. So yeah, this one is another little building on stilts, but tiny little legs. So there's just an open area under here. And then, yeah, cute little roof all in the... Um, acacia wood style and to get in this one this is an interesting one there's no stairs you've got to align yourselves and make this increasingly difficult because i put a trap door there but uh, yeah boom and you're in isn't that cool there's a bed here too and then uh we put in a another building up here uh, i'm actually going to get there via this building so I'm trying to make these as interconnected as possible, not just with the um, with the roads and the bridges and things, but also with the little walkways connecting 
the different builds. So this one has actually got multiple walkways at multiple levels, connecting it to other builds. So this is the biggest of the new buildings. Let's take a little look-see. And it's almost like this pagoda style. Um, it made me realize how pagoda-like a lot of the other ones really are, but the, the sort of quadruple roof alternating color thing made it really pagoda-y, if that's a word. And um, yeah, this one in green terracotta, I think that's lime green and green green. So let's go in and have a look-see. A little bit more interior work on this one. So we've got a little sort of central cooking area library and then another spiral staircase coming up. Uh, this is a multi-level. So here we are up at the bedroom. We can walk out onto here and come this way like this and over to the one that spans over the river. So we've extended the walkways over, making sure that we can navigate between the two and then extended it even further. There is a second level up here, going up to this uh, oxidized copper level. Very happy with this. Another really cool lookout across the village. So that's started to really make our village come together in a nice and unique way. Extending it further out into the valley here. And just look at all the buildings now. It's just coming alive. So we found a time when uh, both Harlock and French were both online and we came back out to my uh, Snowblock Parkour course. We're going to give it a go. We're going to do the first proper competitive test run here with the three of us and see how we do. Okay guys, you ready to race? Uh, we're ready. Okay, so we've all done this once. We know roughly what we're doing. So the button's already been pushed. And we go. Wait, in. do we go on like what is the start signal? I'll go three, two, one, and then go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Uh, <laughs> um. I immediately. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who needs to use the scaffolding first to get back up after falling. Wow, French is steaming ahead. Look how far ahead he is. How is he doing this? Um, right, what do I do here? I just need to make sure I go up, up, and yep, dispense, second block, tower up, and jump. Great. Let's see if we can catch French up. Oh, crap, I missed place one. Oh, no, 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 no. I am losing important seconds. Uh... Ooh, is this my opportunity to catch up? And you can't crouch either, can you? That's the other thing that's tricky nope, with this. I almost fell when I... <laughs> Ooh, I'm not doing this the fast way, I'm doing it the safe way. Oh no! Ah! I fell! Scaffolding. Same. No, Warlock's gonna win! Oh, I no. fell. Oh, well, then I guess it doesn't matter. Let's see if we can get a quick recovery here. Get back up, save those precious seconds. I was just complaining about the scaffolding for Java. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a thing, and when you're rushing, it's easy to make mistakes. Like, I was trying to grab the snow block when it was on the edge, but I couldn't read. Oh, fell down, double block up, scoop, scoop. Right, where are we going next? We're going up, so we need to sort of look over the sides and pillar up. Down again. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I heard a piston. French is already... It's already there. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Uh... uh... Ah! Yes! Oh no! <laughs> that, uh, that took its toll. Whee! Oh, you finished already, French? I heard the fireworks go off. Yes. That was an amazing time. Well done. I feel like I'm only halfway through. I don't know how you did it so fast. Oh, that's right. I gotta put a block up there. I am still way behind here. Got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, so we go up on the trap door, one block up here. I think I'm still just ahead of Harlock, but not by much. 
Uh, right, I need to collect the snow block from below. That allows me to go two up here. Yes, I'm crouching. That's not good. Ah, oh, overshot. Scaffolding to my rescue. Quick, quick, quick. Uh, scoop and scoop. And the last couple of jumps left here. Let's do it. Come on, come on. And down here. I have a question. Did you come up with this game? Uh, no, I kind of copied it from Exumavoid. Well, like, did you? I, I made up my, my own version of it. The concepts came from him. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. I think it was his idea to do the whole snow block parkour thing, but yeah, I just designed my own course from uh, from scratch here. How did I? How did he duck through this last bit? Uh, oh, like you're catching. Looks like you're gonna beat him. <laughs> oh man, now I'm stuck. I'm stuck at this bit. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I know what's going on. I left sneak toggle on from building. Ah, I was Press just holding. Away. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, finish like. Uh, how did you get down there fast? Did you just jump? Yes. Oh wow. Uh, I, didn't. <laughs> I didn't jump. I uh, just <laughs> like you know place snow blocks like ah, that. What's the totem? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the snow block. <laughs> yeah, I left the snow block. I'm gonna go back and get it. Oh man. Yeah, you can get it later. It... I'm gonna have to. Because uh, I am stuck. Yeah, hey. I, I saved that totem for the... where it counted. <laughs> yeah, I hey. definitely popped mine. Woohoo! Well, I'm terrible at my own game. <laughs> <laughs> A little practice. Yeah. Nice time frame. She was so fast, I can't believe it. And I lost, I lost like important time because I fell and did a few things wrong, but I'm... Hmm. Once we get enough stuff in here, we can build a Ender Pearl course on top of it also. Ooh, that could be fun. Yeah. I was wanting to do one at my base, but I was like, no, I don't want to, I, I want to, but I don't want to because then it would make it, you know, an Ender Pearl course above it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks for trying out the game with me, guys. I'm glad it's uh, I'm glad it's fun. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Mm-hmm. We'll definitely need more practice. Yeah. There's something you can come along here and change a few blocks or something. Yeah, it might need a bit of yeah. optimization here and there just to make it... Um... I mean, like, if, if we get it down and we're running laps in, like, you know, 15 seconds or something, you know. <laughs> yeah. If French gets any better, we'll have to make it more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a fantastic first run with my friends here on Newcraft. Went down a treat and uh, clearly got a lot of practice to do to get good at this game in order to be competitive because French kicked our butt. And I got really stuck at the end there thanks to my, uh, my crouching mishap. But yeah, lots of fun to be had. I think we'll have a little tournament, get a few more Newcrafters out here giving this a go and seeing who can get the best time. Maybe we'll start timing this, and um, more importantly, who can get the most wins. Very happy. I'm glad this uh, turned out to be a little bit of a success. So that's all for this episode. I think we'll leave it here. A lot's done. Um, next time, I'm definitely going to get in my new market stand attendant. I want to do that. And uh, maybe a bit more village expansion. A couple more farms I want to do. And we may even help out some of the other new crafters with some projects or other mini games here on the server. So stay tuned, and we'll see you all next time. Take care for now. Bye-bye.